Dear FX. Coming at you 28 May. It's a Tuesday after a long weekend. Enjoyed that here. Um, but right back at it. Let's uh, let's see what's going to happen here at the European Open and over the day today. Equities bounced a little bit here. 28.37 after printing um, lows down near 28.10. We had uh, on the 23rd, obviously, down to 07. This whole 2800 area is super key for us, massively important now, 2778, 200 day. This looks like a little bit of sideways action here. We'll probably sneak above these highs. Same strategy. Um, anything you've collected down here below 30, uh, you want to sell. Uh, between 40 and 60 today. We don't think this is going to get above 60. Um, and, you know, this has been an overall theme for us. So, depending how you're accounting for the PL, whether you have one big average or you're just doing a daily PL, um, just take these things into consideration. Uh, so if you're going to day trade this, you got to stop out above 60. But if you're thinking this is over a, a longer term trend, and we're basically 2,900, 2,800 uh, for the time being, you need to leave your powder dry. So just plan ahead. Everyone's P&L uh, story is very individualized. Some people are, take more risk. Uh, on a daily basis some people are more long term some people are more short term the point is is we still think the direction is down um, we're getting towards the middle of the range here so you know it seems silly for us to be buying anything in mid range but that being said don't get short at 2807 if you have P&L restraints so they're going to force you to stop at 2860 Anyway, we think this is still sell on rally. Crude popped up a little bit. Charts are very similar. This looks like it's going to test this 60, 60 and a quarter area. First time up there, we definitely will be selling. Um, we're expecting some sideways motion and then a mother, another leg down here in crude. Um, this obviously is super sensitive and corroborates the equity moves good correlation um, the last six months between equities and oil has been talked about a lot all over BTPs we've been talking about this guy for for a while um, big big move yesterday after the uh, European threatened the Europeans threatened a four billion dollar uh, fine. Bearish engulfing close below the lows. It's basically the same trade as equities. Um, you want to just sell high ones. Uh, BTPs today is probably going to go even lower. Uh, One twenty nine forty four or forty two is yesterday's low. Um, we expect this to continue lower. Uh, and just add to the general risk off tone out there. Cable, we had this doji on Thursday. Friday, we had an up day, kind of a crazy up day, up, down, up, down, up, down. Yesterday, reality kind of set in as to where we are politically. Um, I'm not sure we're going to get below with this 126. 07 area is massively important now. I'm not sure we're going to get below that, to be fair. Uh, but I also do know that cable's whipping around, as as has been the case on political news. So it's very hard to trade. We we are not in this cable trade, um, but 126.07 is massively important. But it does look like it has turned technically. And so there is some topside risk purely technically. This sort of dovetails with Euro Sterling, uh, which also turned on Friday. 
yesterday was sort of up, down, up, down, down to 91, which is uh, the 200 day. And now we're back here. Again, politically driven. This looks like a turn to us, um, but we we don't have a dog in this fight. We're not playing around with sterling. It looks a bit silly. What we are playing around with is gold. Um, this will be our trade of the week this week, long gold. Um, what we're really looking for here is something that can express weaker dollar, but we don't have to buy euros, which we don't really like to own, and we don't have to buy sterling, which we don't like to own. It's pretty hysterical stuff. So it was kind of a, uh, a a test between whether you want to be short dollar CAD or long gold. We decided to be long gold, but we do like short dollar CAD as well. Um, so we're buying gold here around this 1283 area. We don't think it's going to get below 1270. We do think it's going to break this trend line, 1297. We will be adding through this trend line uh, as this is our style of trading. Um, but it's 17 bucks away, it's already percent away for a weekly trade. Typically that's fine. So you want to have your target right around this 1300 for the week. I suggest uh, if it does get up there, you reassess at that moment. We'll have a look around, see what the story is, et cetera, et cetera. But we like long gold. Uh, we don't trade gold too often. We do have a pretty good hit ratio with our gold trading. Um, so let's see what happens this week, long gold. Let's check out dollar CAD. It's been a real bitch, this dollar CAD. We really thought last week this move below 133.80 was going to was gonna stick. It did not. We moved all the way back up to 135 and then all the way back down to 134.30. Now we're in this sideways motion. Uh, oil has stabilized, although oil and dollar CAD, the correlation is a, a lot weaker recently than most people think this is really a euro dollar trade the correlation with dollar cad is to euro dollar so as euro dollar pops higher dollar cad can go lower you now have a series of lows at 134.30 we're going to use this as sort of a jump off point um, to get short dollar cad we do think um, there's a good chance this breaks 133.50 this week so dollar cad shorts are uh, on the radar here as far as news this, news this morning, we've got sort of import prices, which is inflation in uh, Germany in 40 minutes. We've got consumer confidence out of France, money supply, no one cares. Uh, mortgage approvals out of the UK, no one cares. And consumer confidence out of Europe mid-morning. So very second tier stuff. Um, we're going to be focusing on not really on the euro today, focusing on dollar CAD and gold. I will just leave you with that. Um, I will say dollar yen uh, is approaching this 109 handle, uh, 109 the figure, which is very, very important, but it looks like we're going to get a bit of sideways action. This is the same ch chart as oil, same chart as equities. A um, little bit of sideways action and then lower later in the week. All right, I've said enough. Uh, I will send the little uh, trade of the week PDF out to our website. Uh, you can have a closer look at that. And with that, I wish you guys a good trading day. Make lots of dough. And I will talk to you tomorrow. Ciao.